hey there. Welcome to Fitness in the Outdoors with me, your instructor, Mikey. Today, we're going to do an upper body centered workout that involves uh, free weights or um, any kind of other like medium to heavy weight, uh, weight you can use. You can use cans of soup. You can use um, grocery bags filled with stuff. Um, whatever you want to use for these lifts we're going to do. So the lifts we're going to do, we're going to start off by doing some power skips so we don't need any equipment. Then we're going to do bicep curls, alternating. And then we're going to do skull crushers, so we're going to be laying down one weight, and then we're going to lower that on our head, laying down. After that, we're going to do a floating table on the mat, so no equipment needed. Followed by that, we're going to do a chest press with two weights or a single bar, whatever you have available. And then lastly, we're going to get ready for spring by doing some lawnmower rows. We're going to start that lawnmower. So, without further ado, let's begin our warm up. So, let's start by doing some jumping jacks. Get the body warm. Ah, oh, yes. Alright, let's start to change these. We're going to go forward and back. If you want to make these a little harder, you just got to lower down to more of a lunge. Awesome. And back to normal. Awesome job, guys. Get that heart rate up. All right, so let's grab, um, you don't need anything. Let's just do some arm circles. Just further get our shoulders warm for this upper body workout. Nice and big arm circles. Getting our scapular sling all loosened up. Let's reverse. Very nice. Let's go wide, star pose. Right arm, left leg, back up. Left arm, right leg, back up. Keep it going. Very nice. And one more. All right, nice job. Hope you're feeling warm. If not, take the time, get warmer. So, we're gonna start with our first exercise, which is power skips. So, we're skipping. Right leg comes up, left arm comes up. We go to our other side, left leg comes up, right arm. So I'm gonna skip in a line. If you have room, we're skipping three ways, coming back. We're going for power here, trying to get up, nice and high. If you have limited room, you can just stand still, squat, jump up. Awesome, guys. There we go. Halfway there. Get that power. Just a few more. Let's go last one. And time. All right, let's grab those bicep curl weights. And do some curls. I have with me handy dandy rocks. They're about 12 pounds each. So, supinated grip. We're gonna alternate and then down slowly. The full range of motion here. You guys ready? Set? Let's go. Right arm curls. Lower slow. Left arm curls. Slow. Very nice. If you notice, my right arm is like glued in where my elbow is. We don't want this chicken wing. We don't want to get in the shoulder, but we want to keep it in. Very nice. We got 10 more seconds, guys. Slow and controlled is the name of the game. Three, two, one, nicely done. If you weren't fatigued after that, maybe up the weight next time. 
All right, let's grab our heavier weight. I'm just gonna use this one rock. If we're using one weight, we just, we're just using one piece here to grab. So we're gonna lay down onto our mats. I like to keep my legs up. Now, the weight starts right above my head. And I'm going to hinge at my elbow, allowing the weight to come down to my skull, and I'll press back up. This is really working our triceps as we're fighting gravity here. And as we come back up. We also want our elbows to be in, not out like this. We don't want that, that's bad. But keep those elbows squeezed in as we crush our skulls, metaphorically speaking. Let's go two more. And time. All right, let's put that aside. We're gonna come down on our mats into a tabletop position. So what that is, is we're on all fours. Hands are stacked under our shoulders. Knees are stacked under our hips. We're gonna be lifting up on our toes, so toes are down. And what this looks like is my knees are hovering a few inches off the ground. And our back is also important too. We don't wanna be up here in like a cat-like position. We also don't wanna be sunk in. But we have a nice flat back as we lift. You guys ready? Let's go. So we're hovering here. Also think of our hands pressing firmly into the ground. We don't want any gaps under our palms. And if you need more challenge here, you can begin to do some shoulder taps here in this floating table position. If this is getting really hard, you can always just drop one knee. And just keep one knee lifted. That's still engaging our core and working on that. But try to keep both up here. Three, two, one, time. Nice guys. Okay, so now we're going to be doing our chest press. So find your medium weights here. I'm gonna use my two 12 pound blocks. And if you have a towel or some kind of cushion, you can put on the ground to create some kind of lifting space here. Use a rock. That'll allow further extension into this press. So if you have something like that, I would use that. Otherwise, it's okay. So let's grab these weights in a normal flex position. Three, two, one, let's go. Pressing up, going down. Nice and controlled here. Our feet are Press firmly into the rock or floor, wherever you're at. Hopefully you're outside. Wink, wink. Nice. Let's keep those arms going. 10 more seconds, people. Exhaling as we come up, inhaling on the way down. Let's go, last one. Nice. All right, so this is our last exercise. But we're gonna do unilateral work, meaning we're working one side at a time. So we're gonna to have to switch this at the very end after the time's up. This is our lawnmower row. So I like to use some kind of platform here um, to help me row. Um, either it's a bench or um, like a table or a chair, you can press on that as you come up here. But I'm gonna use this rock. Not ideal, but it'll do. So we're gonna row here and come back down. Left hand, let's start. Three, two, one, let's go. Rowing in, extending all the way down. Coming up. Filling that whole left side of our scapular sling. Really engage as we come up. And the elbow is staying nice and close to my midline. Let's keep it breathing. Could 
probably move surprisingly amount of weight. You could probably lift more than you think. So, and this is getting really easy right now. Find something heavier. All right, let's switch sides. Weight in your right hand. Staggered split stance. My left hand down. And let's go. We're rowing. Start that lawnmower. Once again, we're extending fully. I'm not coming here and then back up. That crease in my elbow, we want that to be totally straight to work the full range of motion. This is really working our lats and all those other pulling muscles that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. 10 more seconds. Lots of different positions you could be in a row. And time. All right, nice job guys. We're done with set one. Let's just repeat that and do it one more time. Okay, so power skips. You can be one place, or if you have some room, you can go side to side. Ready, set, let's go. And if that's getting too hard, let's just do a double jump and reach in the air. That's perfectly fine as well. But if you want the full experience, power skip. Ten more seconds. Last one. Nice. All right. Back to our supinated bicep curls. So let's find those smaller weights. Whew. Ready, set, let's go. So I have a nice stable stance, feet are wide, enjoying the view as, as we should. Hopefully you're in somewhere really cool right now, looking at some awesome things like I am. Whew, it's good to be here. Nice and slow. Keep it curling. Elbows are still in. Let's keep pushing it almost there. Three, two, one, and done. All right. Whew, feel those berms and those biceps. Okay, let's concentrate on our triceps now via skull crushers on the mat. Find your heavy weight. Come on down to a supinated position. Start arms up straight. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's crush some skulls. When we're laying down, it's really important that we put we push our low back into the ground. So keep on going, don't, don't be distracted. What I mean is, I don't wanna be able to put my hand under my back, but I wanna press down so that when I'm doing these lifts, my low back is supported. So make sure we're pressing down. That's, that's really foundational for these lifts. Almost there. Keep crushing. Three, two, one, and time. Nice work, people. You're making me so proud. Ugh. Okay. Floating table is next. On our mat. Ready? Tabletop position. Set. Arms are stacked. And we're floating. And like I said before, you could do those shoulder taps or even just lift the hand off the ground and try to fight that swaying action that will happen in your hips. And you can switch hands just by coming up. You can even lift a foot for a little easier variation. 
what in your hands so that really tests your stability. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and time. All right, two more to go. We're gonna move into our chest press once again. So grab those weights, laying down on our backs. Got a little cushion or prop to help more range of motion here. Got our weights ready? Get set? Let's go! Nice and slow and controlled. We want our elbows to stay wide here. Not come in, but we're going wide. That'll increase our pectoralis major engagement. And um, just just put this where it needs to be for these, these pushing exercises. Nice guys. Let's go three, two, one, and we're done. All right. Last time to cut your grass. As the line say. Okay. So we're in our bet split squat that position. Coming here for the row. You guys ready? Set? Let's go. And just coming all the way down as we're pulling all the way up, putting that weight into your armpit. Feeling that latissimus dorsi engagement there. Nice people. You guys are so strong. You're doing really good. Three, two, one, and let's switch. Right side, one more row. Last chance. Ready? Set, let's go. Even out those sides. Keep breathing. Really feeling your shoulder blades squeezing together through these lifts. Three, two, one, set those weights down. All right, let's do some stretches real quick. Let's bring a right arm across our body. Big upper body day today. I hope you felt like you pushed yourselves and you felt like you made some progress. If not, then just rewatch this video and do it again. And let's switch sides, left arm across the body, keeping our shoulder away from our ear. We don't want it up. All right, now let's do an overhead tricep stretch. Just letting our heart rate come back down to normal resting values. Big deep breaths here. Let's switch sides. Okay, let's take a nice wide stretch here. Bring the arms back, feel the chest expand. If you're by a doorway, you can do a doorway stretch by putting your right arm along the piece of trim and then allowing your body to go through the gap. And that'll really open up your shoulder there in this position. Or you can come out straight and then let that shoulder be pushed back. My imaginary doorway is there. Repeat that on the other side. Really pressing, feeling that that rotator cuff expand and be stretched out. 
Once again, you can even come straight arm, some kind of pull. All right. Once again, both arms wide. Let's take a nice big hug because you're so awesome and you guys did so great. Thank you for being here today, joining me out here in Nat Natural Bridges National Monument. So good to be outside. So good to be with you virtually. And stay healthy, stay fit. Thanks, guys.